how people used to consume TV shows in the past. Everyone used to gather around the unique TV set of the house, turned it on, and had no other choice but to watch the evening broadcast. What about now? We can watch TV shows on TV, on smartphones, on tablets, and everything is connected. We can watch whatever we want, whenever we want, wherever we want. This is the revolution of Video On Demand. With Video On Demand, everyone can consume all the episodes they want. Episode, after episode, after episode. Potentially watching a whole season in one night. And leading to the emergence of binge watching. Binge watching is running a lot of media coverage. But what exactly is binge watching? Is it watching two, three, four, ten episodes in a row? Analyzing real world data, it turns out the definition is not so simple. Binge watching is heterogeneous, many factors must be considered. Who is watching? What content is being viewed? In which context? All of them are considered in our model censored Poisson regression with latent factors. Poisson regression captures the user context, show being viewed, time of the day, device used. Sometimes user may want to view more episodes, but they might not be released yet. This is data censoring. Finally, with latent factors, we captured the heterogeneity of the user population. Our model highlights different kind of binge-watching behaviors. For an hour-long drama like The Walking Dead, a regular session is one or two episodes, a binge session is about three episodes, and a hyper-binge session is about six or seven episodes. But viewers of the 20-minute-long comedy How I Met Your Mother behave quite differently. A regular session is about one or two episodes, a binge session is about 5 episodes, and a hyper binge session is more than 15 episodes. So go ahead and watch just one more. <laughs>